a nation's safety compromised, Labour's reckless visa rush. The Albanese government's immigration policy is playing a dangerous game with Australia's national security by fast-tracking visas for individuals from the conflict-ridden Gaza Strip the government is potentially opening the door to serious threats. This reckless approach prioritizes political expediency over the safety of Australian citizens. It undermines the very fabric of our nation's security. We must demand better. Expedited visas, a pathway for danger? The current government boasts a dangerously expedited visa approval process. Individuals from Gaza are being granted entry into Australia within a shocking 24 to 48 hours. This breakneck speed makes thorough vetting virtually impossible. Alarmingly, a significant portion of these applicants openly declare support for Hamas, a designated terrorist organization. This raises serious red flags about the potential for extremism to infiltrate our borders. The government's claim that these approvals are based on humanitarian grounds rings hollow. It is a flimsy justification that masks a reckless disregard for the safety and security of Australian citizens. Turning a blind eye, the absence of thorough vetting. The expedited nature of these visa approvals means crucial security checks are being bypassed. Background checks, if conducted at all, are rushed and inadequate. This leaves Australia vulnerable to individuals who pose a direct threat to our nation's security. The government's insistence that current vetting procedures are robust is simply not credible. The sheer volume of applications coupled with the pressure to approve them quickly has created an environment ripe for dangerous oversights. It is a gamble with Australian lives. A lone voice in the wilderness, ASIO's warnings ignored, even ASIO, Australia's domestic security organization, has sounded the alarm about the potential risks associated with this policy. ASIO Chief Mike Burgess has publicly expressed concerns about individuals with extremist views entering the country. His warnings, however, have fallen on deaf ears. The government seems content to ignore the expert advice of its own security agency. This is not just irresponsible, it is reckless and endangers every Australian. Furthermore, the government's approach stands in stark contrast to the policies of neighboring Arab nations. These countries, despite their geographic proximity and cultural ties to the region, have been far more cautious in accepting refugees from Gaza. This raises serious questions about the Albanese government's judgment and commitment to protecting Australia's interests. A call for leadership protecting Australia's future. The current government's handling of this issue demonstrates a shocking lack of leadership. It is a betrayal of the trust placed in them to safeguard the nation. Australia needs a government that prioritizes the safety and security of its citizens above all else. We must demand a return to stringent immigration policies that prioritize thorough vetting and national security. Anything less is an unacceptable gamble with the safety and future of our nation. The time for complacency is over. The time for action is now.